Hey guys, it's Matthew here once again, and today I want to show you the video of Blade Flurry Assassin taking on pretty much every boss in the game, uh, that is including Shaper, Guardians, and Ubrit Siri, on a 5 link with the Binos, as well as on a 6 link with some Abyssus actions in there as well. I'll start off with the absolute maximum though, this is the 6 link Abyssus Shaper. And uh, as you can see, DPS is absolutely fucking insane. So this is probably the biggest DPS I've had, uh, single target wise, maybe second only to um, Doom Fletch Inquisitor. But when everything lines up, as you can see right here, the DPS is completely absurd. This is, however, with an Abyssus, whereas Uberit Siri, for example, here, this is um, just some six link action. Absolutely no Abyssus. You cannot use an Abyssus on anything besides probably Shaper, and maybe a couple of the Guardians. Besides those two, um, and Shaper himself, Abyssus is pretty unrealistic, so we just more or less stick to a Star Conjure or a Rare Helmet all the time. It's much safer, and DPS is still more than adequate, because as you can see here, this is the 5 link um, no Abyssus DPS that I'm highlighting for the next uh, couple minutes. With every boss, uh, they die pretty much instantly. You don't need too insane gear. A Binos and a 5-link takes care of just about everything. This is a solid example of that as well with a um, double boss, Vile Temple, so six bosses. Uh, we are still on a 5-link, and it is pretty insane. Now, even having more DPS isn't going to change much on this fight. It's just completely crazy. You have to duck in and out plenty. Otherwise, you might get comboed. Uh, you probably won't get one shot by anything, but, you know, two of them can hit you at once, and all of a sudden, you are dead. So, unless you have Vile Pact and probably another two or 3,000 life, or maybe if you're a CI version with um, 10,000 ES and Vile Discipline, you could probably face tank in that situation but here we have to do a lot of kiting. Regardless, when you do get that small chunk of DPS in, uh, it's pretty absurd and you do kill things instantly. Now, you could also use um, increased area instead of conch effect and then play it a bit safer at range and it's probably a better idea when doing, as you can see, this exactly because I'm almost in melee range with conch effect and it means I'm running around a lot, almost never doing damage except for when I can get into melee range. If you had increased area in instead, you'd pretty much be a ranged ability and you could run around a lot safer and um, just lean back, shoot every now and again. It'd probably be a bit slower when you can get your damage in, but overall safer and more reliable, I would say. However, um, this is a pretty extreme example. Six bosses of Vile Temple, you don't really ever come across that. The trio on Uber Siri are actually pretty comfortable and not too dangerous at all. Next up is a 5 link, I think, Abyssus kill of the Minotaur. Um, this is just my first real DPS test against him, and it's pretty nuts. It's fairly comparable to a Dream Feather or a Doom Fletch Inquisitor when everything lines up, but that is with only a 5 link, so with 6 link it does get more crazy. Uh, this is a non Abyssus Hydra. It was one of my first Hydras, I do believe, and since Hydra is poison immune, it does take a bit of time, and I'm still figuring out the character a bit, so a Wither Totem probably would help quite a bit here as well, or throwing down a Lightning Trap every now and again, which I was not doing, but um, it was pretty respectable DPS for a 5 link Binos when um, you don't have poison factored into the build at all, so it wasn't too bad, it just takes a few minutes. This is a... Abyssus, uh, 5 link kill as well, I think, and you can see the damage ramps up quite a lot more with the Abyssus. If you run Hatred and Herald of Ash as well, that certainly helps, and you can't afford to use an Abyssus on something like Hydra, because you shouldn't really ever get hit by any of the attacks that Hydra does, and the balls, which you quite likely get hit by every now and again, they do pure cold damage, so um, there's no extra damage there. I believe this is 5 link as well, um, Abyssus on a Phoenix, pretty crazy damage there too, but um, most of the time I will only be playing that with a Star Conjure, and it's just more reliable and safer that way. Uh, this is 5 link non-Abyssus, the very first time I went into the Uber series zone, and cleared it very cleanly, I think I may have died once to a Tiri or trio, I don't remember, but um, the trash is really smooth, as you can see, damage really nice, you pretty much one-shot all trash, the only danger is coming across really large packs, um, 
if you don't have Valpact, which I don't. Etzeri herself on the 5 link isn't too bad at all. I wasn't fully prepared for this. A Wither Totem goes a very long way. Uh, I prefer it over Lightning Trap at this point. So if you have a Wither Totem, the strat is to just keep that down. Uh, that'll slow her down and increase her poison damage taken quite substantially. And the split phases, as you can see, they die pretty much instantly. Um, even without the Lightning Trap, um, I did play around with that in later attempts. I ran out of Lightning Traps, still be one-shotting the phases, and the um, Wither Totems help out in that case too. More or less, you just need your Flasks up to really nicely one-shot those phases. But for the most part, Atsiri is fairly smooth, uh, she dies pretty quickly. And then when you get a 6-link, it becomes even more of a joke and much easier. But for the time being here, we're just on a 5-link. Um, wearing some pretty budget gear overall, I'd say. It's not that the gear sucks or anything, it's just that it's not huge requirements to get this type of damage because Blade Flurry is fairly amazing. And that was my first pair of um, acuities I've had, I think, all league. For myself, anyway for the past couple leagues. Uh, Chimera is kind of a bitch, there is no doubt about that. He is poison immune and potentially bleed immune, I can't really tell, and um, that's a lot of our damage. So this map was kind of crazy, it had um, vulnerability and monster damage, so I couldn't really face tank him too much, but with a Star Conjure, 6k life, a decent bit of evasion and dodge, you should be able to face tank him if he doesn't have two nasty mods, and uh, just burn through him fairly quickly. The adds themselves pose absolutely no real threat if you have your Orb of Storms down, and you probably want to save flasks for the adds too. Realistically, that helps quite a bit. But um, yeah, you just got to figure out your own sort of strat to beat the boss. The damage is obviously a little bit nerfed just because he's immune to the poison. Um, so if you don't want to run Grace, then running Hatred does boost your damage quite a bit too. Just on most of these maps that I was running Chimera on, um, they were Elemental Equilibrium or they were resistant to cold. So I didn't even bother putting um, Hatred on. I just stuck to Grace. It's not really a huge defensive boost, but um, it helps a little bit for the occasional bit of dodge and probably more so on the adds than anything. But yeah, the strat is to just sit next to that um, furthest right cage for the adds and throw out a lightning trap when the bosses come out, which I think is the third or fourth wave. So just wait for that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, Chimera's just a bit of a bitch. You do have to kite around a bit and dodge a bit of things. Try not to roll him too hard because he is certainly the most annoying of the guardians for a fight like this or for a character like this. And uh, you'll get through it, I'm sure. Still is only a 5 link, I'm pretty sure I'm displaying here. And you would not ever wear an Abyssus against him, I dare say. Uh, this, I believe, was one of my 5 link attempts without an Abyssus. When the damage gets ramped up with all of your power charges, with all of your buffs, then it's still really quite insane. Um, you don't even need an Abyssus. It's just all about getting your power charges up and sometimes frenzies from the... Uh, adds that spawn, and having the Wither Totem down. If you can get the Wither Totem placed into the right places, which I am not doing here right now, like, you want to put it behind him so that when he's doing his lasers, you're stacking up Withers. When that happens, he dies really quickly, and that's even without Abyssus. It can take just mere seconds to push him from one phase to the next. So make sure you're using, making good, smart use of your Wither Totems. Um, as you can see here, there's some pretty nice DPS because we had all of our buffs up. So Orb of Storm's down pretty much always, Wither Totem down as much as you can, and 5 Link Bino's DPS is more than enough to take care of things like Shaper, as well as um, Uruziri and all the Guardians. If you can get a 6 Link though, that boosts your damage quite a bit, and the final links for this character were replacing the Crit Multi Gem, as I mentioned part of your 5 link before and replace it for added chaos and then add void manipulation. Uh, crit multi doesn't really compare to either of those when you can get both of them together so that's what I ended up doing for the 6 link and it's probably what you should do but play around with your own links maybe your setup's going to be a bit different. Uh, if you can get something better than a binos then try and get something better but a binos should take you all the way through the game. So that's the highlights. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time.